So the next part of our process is the salt. Now salt is a universal symbol of life because you gotta have sodium to live and it's always been made the difference between life and death. And in my experience with, with hauntings and, and other such things, salt does make a serious difference. A lot of that is belief, but what we're going to do is we're going to walk to each portal, crank out a little salt here, and seal the portal with salt. So, you don't have to say anything special or do anything, it's just a, it's just a, a light dusting. So, we're going to go here, and this is when they really, if there's anything in the place, they really start getting nervous. So, they, they feel compelled to leave when the salt starts going down. And once again, you don't have to do any of the interior doors. Because, you know, they don't need to be sealed from the outside forces. Because the outside forces are stuck at the doors, at the walls, on the outside. So, you could consider it like a, a spiritual laser grid of protection. You want to make sure you have enough to get a pretty fair amount. doesn't have to be, you don't have to Hose it down. Okay. There's no off the door over here. If you want to say things, um, if you want to say words to reinforce the blessing, you can. But it isn't necessary. Um, generally, the initial blessing that we did is enough to the, the initial blessing is enough to get things started and the salt is just like locking the door okay so the last one we have to do over here for the inside of the building is the main door and I am going to say a few words once again I state that I bless and seal this door against all hostile intent and negative energy Nothing of hostile intent may enter this place. Anything that's in here should leave now, or you will be destroyed by the blessing. Bless and seal. And that is the salting. The next part is the sage.